Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to cover another very important question, which is about manual scheduling. So in the exam, this features a lot. I've heard from a lot of people that a uh, question on manual scheduling has come. And in this question, they basically ask you to stop the scheduler and then create a pod, which you actually have to do manual scheduling for that, right? So you have to manually schedule that pod. So there are multiple ways to do manual scheduling, uh, but uh, for this question, you should always take the shortest, shortest path possible. And this is what I'm going to show you in the exam, right? In this video. So let's get started. So the first thing, if you see kubectl, get pods. So scheduler runs in the cube name, cube system namespace, right? Cube system, just grep for chd schedule. You can see your scheduler is running. Uh, how to stop the scheduler so scheduler is basically running as a static pod so you can just simply go and move that static pod file to some different location and your scheduler would be stopped right so i'll just do let's screen i'll move etc kubernetes manifest cube scheduler to etc kubernetes right so i've just moved that and my schedule scheduler is stopped uh, another point for this question, you actually have to SSH into the control plane, uh, your master node. Uh, but you can see my cluster, I mean the cluster which I'm using as a playground, it, I'm already on the master node. But in exam, you were you will be actually on a worker, worker node, right? Worker station node. And from there, you actually have to SSH into the master node, right? So not much different, just FYI, right? So now that my scheduler is stopped, if I do kubectl run, say web server, one and image equal nginx so pod is created kubectl get pod right. so you can see this pod is in pending status and no node has been uh, assigned to it and it will not happen because our scheduler is not running as simple as that now what i'm going to do i'm going to do kubectl run uh, web server to image would be nginx hyphen dry run oh yaml and set it to pod one yeah pod two dot yaml let's go inside pod two dot yaml and let's get rid of the values which we don't need so we don't need all this stuff but let's so the thing you need to add in this configuration is the node name, right? So node name, uh, we didn't check what node name we want to run. So I can just simply check it from within the Vim. I can do cube CTL get nodes. And I want to schedule my pod on node one. So just do this, save this file clear the screen kubectl get uh, kubectl get kubectl apply and pod is created let's do kubectl get pods and you can see container is creating but as you can see this is scheduled on node 1 right so our first pod is still pending right you can see it has not been scheduled and it will not be scheduled but our second pod is actually running now and we have manually scheduled this pod right uh, anything I want actually wanted to tell you something it just got off my mind yeah so it was about the weightage of the question so this is uh, not a very low weightage question it's a medium weightage question not a very high weightage but it's like somewhere around five to between five and ten percent of weightage this question has right so and this is quite easy so it would be great if you can just nail it within like one or two minutes you'll you'll save a lot of time so yeah that's pretty much it for this video guys i hope you guys like this video you guys are liking this series uh yeah that's that's all i have for this video please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching